it, friends, and guess what? I built this shed behind us. Yes, I did it. <laughs> We needed a place to put our goats and when we moved into this new house, we didn't have anywhere to put them. And so I was, you know, looking around at prices and looking at sheds and things like that. And not only are they really expensive, but I really wanted to put it right here in this spot. And you know, as you can see, there's a tree right here. So, you know, that would have made it very difficult, if not impossible to put a shed there. So we decided that we were going to have to build one. However, I knew my husband wouldn't have time and I'm not the most handy person ever, so um, yeah, I'm gonna be the one that has the most time to be able to do it, but without, you know, a lot of building skills, it really didn't look like there was a lot of options out there. I looked into some cheap metal sheds and I looked into, you know, building a wooden shed from scratch and things like that, and I didn't think that I would probably be smart enough to be able to figure out how to do all those angle cuts and all this and that. So what we opted to do instead was actually build a shed with this shed kit. This shed kit came from Amazon. It's about $50 or it was when I bought it. And it came with a bunch of brackets, like all the little metal brackets that you would actually use to you know, build it. But then you have to buy all of the lumber and other materials separately. So. You, you get this shed kit, it comes with directions, which is nice. And then um, it has all of the instructions for how much, let me see, get to the right page. All of the instructions on exactly how much you cut all of the different wood to, so you know exactly how many one by fours you need, how many, you know, two by fours, how many or by tens, two by, you know, four by 12, two by four by eight. And then you, you know, it has the measurements on exactly how much you have to cut them all to. And then it goes through in the instructions and then it tells you when you're actually going to build it. Okay, now you use the pieces that were, you know, this size and you, you make them in this way, you know, and it even listed the hardware, like how many nails and, or screws you needed and that sort of stuff. So it made it really easy. It made it to the point where a person like me could actually build a shed by myself. Now I will say, while my husband did not help at all, the only thing he helped with was we came out here, I cut the wood, and we put it on the ground and kind of like, okay, what do you think about right here? You know, move it to the side and to the other side. And then that was it. That was like a Sunday late afternoon. And then work week started and he went off to work and then I got to work on this. Um, every single nail, every single screw, was put together by yours truly. And so I can honestly say that I did build it almost all by myself. I do have two kids, they're nine and 11. The nine year old was not helpful at all. The 11 year old, however, would be helpful in, you know, little things, you know, hand me, you know, this tool or hold this up while I, you know, uh, screw this on really quick or something like that, you know, or when I was putting the trusses on, when you get to the point where you have to like put the trusses on, uh, it really does help to have somebody hold you know, one side of the truss while you screw on the other. So, you know, she did stuff like that. But for the most part, I pretty much did it all by myself. All of the roofing, everything. So I will say just really quickly, as far as the price of the shed kit goes, obviously I think it was very reasonable at 50 bucks and with, you know, the really detailed and really good instructions and then all the brackets included, I thought it was really, you know, very reasonable price and then as far as the instructions go I really do think that it was actually pretty good I did not have any trouble you know going along I didn't have anything where it didn't work out or didn't fit right or you know where the instructions weren't clear and so I was you know misunderstanding or anything like that I really do feel like it was pretty good to where all of the cuts you know were exactly the size that I needed for everything and then the instructions were really easy to follow and made it easy enough that someone with literally no building skills was able to build a real structure. Okay, I have small amounts of building skills. I've built a few smaller things, but nothing that was intended to last a long time and nothing big, you know? Small, you know, little things and things like that. So, you know, in the interest of full disclosure, I have built a few small things, but never anything, anything even remotely close to the size. And then the other thing I really liked about this is that it made it to where you didn't have to do any angle cuts. Like the way that the brackets worked for the trusses made it to where you did all straight cuts and then the brackets actually fit together to where, you know, you didn't have to do those angle cuts. It isn't finished, it is fully built, but I am gonna do some extra work to it that's sort of above and beyond. I put a couple of doors on it. There's one here and there's one there. Um, but the instructions said to put it on the end, which I didn't want. That didn't work for me for my application. So I had to change the instructions around in that regard. 
And then um, also I decided to put on some trim and I'm probably gonna paint it and stuff like that. But that's all again, optional things. I do know that it was probably somewhere in the range of a third to half of what it would cost to buy a shed brand new, not brand new, on Craigslist. <laughs> If I were to buy a used shed on Craigslist, I probably paid about a third or a half of that to build it myself. If I were to spend new, it would you know, easily be way, way over what I paid in the materials you know, to put this together. And yeah, it was really good, really fun project to do. And I really had a lot of fun with it. So I'm really glad that I had the opportunity. Since again, it's not fully done, but it is fully built. So yeah, I have to still put on the hinges for the doors and yada, yada. But here, let me show you. 